when we know something precious, when we know something that really are valuable to us <coughs> as uh, as people that we know got grace um, we learn to value it we learn to appreciate it. and in my case um, I do uh, appreciate you uh, I do love you because um, uh, you have become part of my life and my uh, message to you today is um, the definitely uh, I'm always uh, uh, keeping yourself in my prayer and I'm not uh, stopping uh, to pray for you as you have become extremely precious to me um, and to the Lord because uh, we are partner, we are part of a, a war that the Lord has called us to do. Um, the book of the book of Ephesians 1, 16, uh, read this. It says, do not cease to give thanks for you, as to mention of you um, in my prayers. So I do not cease to give thanks for you. Um, why? Because we as Christians, uh, we must uh, look after our family. Um, we have been told by the Lord to uh, take care of ourselves together. Um, we no longer are an island, we no longer are uh, alone. We are uh, part of a team. And that leads me to uh, give my life uh, into remember you, into think of you, into understand that me without you I can't do uh, much. Um, you are Christ and without Jesus Christ we can't do much. Um, we, we have been uh, Doing something, we have we have been uh, uh, moving from one place to another. Um, we have been uh, 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 inviting uh, children to join the program uh, in, in the last uh, six weeks. Uh, it has been a successful program. It has been a, a successful uh, plan uh, that the Lord has developed and. And it has been a, a, a great work. We have having a great resource uh, with a good uh, future uh, and prospectus with the with the plans that the Lord has uh, organized for years. And this is the time for us to act. Um, it's not. We are not the first. Uh, probably will not be the last um, until the Lord Jesus manifests. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say the Lord Jesus, well, it's, um, it's the Lord that died on the cross for us to give us salvation. You also can be part of it uh, and, and, and understand what the Lord Jesus means by praying, by accepting Jesus uh, within your life, in your heart. It's simple. You can just tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Uh, I accept you uh, as my King of my life, my Savior, my soul. Uh, asking you for forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, and clean me, Lord. And teach me, Lord, what do I have to do to, to serve you, to be part of this great commission. Um. All we need to do is just put in our heart the desire to help you. You can do that as well. You can do that if you have, if you are not part of this uh, great war that I am talking about. If you are part of this war that I am talking about, and then you understand what I am saying to you when I say to you thanks. 
Thanks for being part of this work. Thanks for being part of this program. Thanks for being part of this call that the Lord has given to us. Um, and I do pray for you uh, in my prayers, asking the Lord to keep you, to multiply even more, and to also uh, teach you how you can do it better rather than to stop. Because uh, if you don't it once, it's because you have a heart for it. And this is what the Lord wants in us for us to have a heart on it so he can bless us more and the, his blessing is you know you have you have to think that his bless is not a temporary bless or once one time bless but his bless is a bless that multiplies and, and stays continuously uh, flourishing in us in our lives um then if you don't know what i'm talking about it's time for you to just uh, bring up into your life and start a new relationship, uh, start a, a fresh uh, beginning, uh, start with a fresh program in life with Jesus Christ. Um, and for all of you that uh, are part of this uh, uh, giving time, and all of you that are part of this uh, great commission, uh, I can tell you that we are having a great time these days. And um, the last weeks of the program that I have been uh, developing here in, uh, in this part of the world in Bolivia, uh, we have great results. And now um, uh, I have to say to you that we are having a, 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 a good plan and we have uh, met wonderful people that are ready to continue now when I am moving on. So I uh, can tell you, you is that encourage yourself, keep going, do not stop, because uh, the more you do it, the more you get it from the Lord. The Lord is precious. God is um, really uh, on the plan uh, to work with us, but then we have to keep continually uh, 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 encouraging ourselves to stay floating on this time of giving. There's no much more precious time of giving and to support our brothers than these times when everything is looking and showing that we are approaching the end of the days. Um, Ephesians 1 16, uh, I do want you to uh, get in your, to your Bible and read it. I do not cease to give thanks for you. Uh, 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 making mention of you in my prayers because you have been uh, proof uh, to the Lord that you are committed, that you want to be part of it. Um, uh, moving into, into his uh, war and his field to produce for the Lord. Philippians 1.3 uh, I thank my God whenever I remember you. Uh, it's a scripture that uh, I can uh, tell you that that is what is moving my heart in, in these days. Because I must, I must, uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, early in the morning now, uh, I must uh, pray to the Lord and thanks for you, uh, for your uh, wonderful uh, uh, partnership, for your wonderful encouragement, for your wonderful love, that you have for the souls. So, easy enough is for us to keep going, uh, keep giving, uh, keep promoting, keep encouraging, uh, encouraging, sorry, uh, keep with this encouragement that we have been having all these days, and keep encouraging others as well with our actions, with our giving, with our friendship, with our um, uh, companionship and stay always tuned with the Lord and His work because the last day, the last time, the last days it is approaching and we must mm, uh, do as much as we can whenever we can. Um, now this uh, uh, message that I give to you today is a message of thanksgiving to you. Because uh, you have been really uh, key in this uh, 
a mission in this time that we are doing uh, uh, here in Arabia, uh, creating uh, uh, links, creating uh, 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 partners, uh, making ways so we can continue with his work in the, in, in, in the field uh, that the Lord has called us. For this is a great commission and there are many workers, many labors, many areas, but in the area the Lord has called us, we are trying to produce and to give some results to the Lord. And this is possible also because of your partnership. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and continue to do it because this is producing and the Lord is uh, um, doing His work um, because we are the laborers. Uh, we move on. Um, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Have read one Ephesians uh, one sixteen and Philippians one three, and, and this is what we do. It. And uh, I invite you to also do that for all our brothers and sisters. And if you don't know the Lord, if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So have a read there and remember that the Lord Jesus wants you to acknowledge you in your heart, in your mind, in your life so He can bless you. He can heal you. He can deliver you. He can make you a new person with a fresh start, with a new beginning and with a good motive, with a good purpose and focus in your life. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This morning.